come to this. There was a magic time a few years ago when Conor McGregor could do no wrong. He transcended understanding, beating opponents on one leg, flattening unbeatable champions in seconds, winning two belts at once. He was the biggest fighter on the UFC's roster, and he knew it. They've got to come talk to me now. That's all I know. I've got both belts, a chunk of money, a fa fam little family on the way. You want me to stick around? You want me to keep doing what I'm doing? Let's talk, but I want ownership now. I want the equal share. I want, I want what I deserve, what I've earned. Then, against the predictions of nearly every pundit and analyst in the world, he jumped codes, bringing Floyd Mayweather, the biggest boxer in history, out of retirement to book a huge payday. Mayweather! The build-up alone to that fight was bigger than most UFC main events, as legions of passionate fans flocked to their hero at every opportunity. On the count of three, I want everyone in this arena to scream at the top of your lungs, F the Mayweathers. One, two, three. He was the first dual division title holder in UFC history, booked for the most lucrative fight in history, and had talked a surprising number of people into believing that he had a shot at beating Floyd. I don't see him lasting two rounds. I feel I will have the decision to end it inside one. McGregor lost in a one-sided 10th round TKO. He walked away with a huge pile of money and a great platform to launch his new whiskey. But his boxing experiment was over. Put my whiskey down, notorious Irish whiskey. The MMA world waited to see when their biggest star would return home and maybe win back one of the belts he'd been stripped of in his time away from the sport. But instead of a fight announcement, we got an insane rampage through the Madison Square Garden service area and the richest fighter in MMA attacking a bus with a trolley. The UFC's number one celebrity being perp walked through courthouses was a bad look, although it made for good promotion when Connor then booked his comeback fight against the man he had attacked. New lightweight champ, Habib Nurmagomedov. Once again, Despite the talk, McGregor was humbled by the new champion. He was out-wrestled for two long rounds before being forced to tap in the fourth. It is now over two years since Connor straddled the cage with a belt over either shoulder. And in that time, he has had two losses and spent more time being judged for crimes than fights. He will always be an electric personality, but a lot of the shine has come off his aura since the heady days of 2016. And if he doesn't win his next fight, the greatest showman in MMA history may be looking at an early retirement.